Hello. In this lab I will show you the operation of the fire monitor and fire sprinkler. As you can see, when I move the fire near the, the fire monitor, the fire sprinkler will raise the water to put out fire. And when I move the fire far away from the fire monitor, the sprinkler stop raising the water. The fire monitor and fire sprinkler is connected to an MCU board. When the fire monitor detects the fire, it will send out a digital signal to the MCU, with the state of 1, as you see in the data specification of the fire monitor. The MCU receives the signal and process it. You can see in the programming tab of the MCU. We have the function handle sensor data. The MCU will read the signal on digital slot 0. And if the value is 0, means no detecting of fire, it will send a signal to digital slot 1, with value of 0. And if the value is 1, means detecting of fire, it will send a signal to digital slot 1, with value of 1. This is the digital slot 1. On the data specification of the fire sprinkler, you can see the state, 0 equals off, 1 equals on. That's all for this lab. Thanks for watching. Hello. In this video, I will make a demo about a motion detector. As you see in the topo above, when we press ALT button and drag the mouse over the motion detector, the detector will send a signal to the server. The server then turns on the webcam. And after 5 seconds, if we don't move the mouse, the webcam is turned off. So why the server can turn on the webcam? Let examine the motion detector. On the programming tab, you see the function mouse event. This function is to recognize the movement of the mouse. It automatically deactivates after 5 seconds without any mouse movement. When detecting the movement, it will send a signal to digital slot 1, by using digital write function, with the value of high. High value means activation. On tab thing editor, you can see the digital slot 1. On the server, you can log in and see the rules. On the conditions tab, you can see two rules. Let examine the first rule. You can see that, if the motion detector is activated, then it will turn on the webcam. The second rule is to turn off the webcam when detecting no motion.
Next, we will examine the topo below. You can see that we use an MCU to turn the lead on. And then call the police. This topo is to prove that, an MCU can do the job of a server. So let examine the programming tab. This line to set a digital slot 0 to input. Then it reads the status of digital slot 0. If it detects the high value, it calls the police and turn on the lead. If no motion detect, it sends value of low, to turn off the lead. Thanks for watching.